I always get asked the question, what can I expect after surgery? What will my scar look like? And is there anything I can do to make sure everything goes smoothly? So here's a video for everybody considering any kind of surgery uh, with the facts, science-based information. I hope this helps. Every wound goes through certain stages. In the first week or so, you're really trying to close the epithelium or the skin and get that nice barrier back. And every wound basically gets harder and more reddish, purplish for about three to four months. And that's when your collagen is really on overdrive, trying to create scar. And after about four months is when the wound starts to soften and lighten. And during this whole one to one and a half year period where your wound is sort of going over the natural history of what wounds and scars do, it's really important to keep it out of the sun. As you all know, when we go in the sun, we get tan, and that's because our cells that produce pigment, called the melanocytes, are stimulated by the sun. So as you can imagine, when a wound is very sensitive, because it's just been created or you've just had surgery, the melanocytes are already sort of hypersensitive. So if you get sun on the wound, it's gonna heal darker than your surrounding tissue because the melanocytes are gonna be really revved up and producing a lot of pigment. So with any scar, very important to keep it out of the sun for a year to a year and a half. Um, also, it's very important that you know the scar is gonna become more red, more angry, and harder for that first three to four months and then it's gonna soften for up to a year. So you don't wanna get mad at your surgeon or wanna do scar revision surgery before that first year for the most part um, because your wound's not done healing and you don't really know what you're gonna get. And I always get asked, doctor, what can I put on my incision to make sure it heals the best that it can? But this is a $2 billion a year industry. All these creams and potions and voodoo uh, really, there isn't a lot that's been shown to decrease um, the size or of, of a scar, the width of a scar, or to let it stay flat. The only things that have any sort of evidence at all are silicone sheeting or silicone creams, sunscreen or keeping it out of the sun, and also taking the tension off of the wound. And there are certain uh, wound therapies now that when you apply the dressing it squeezes the scar together so that it's not under any tension and it doesn't create a wide scar. I will tell you that things like vitamin E, which everybody thinks is so amazing, can actually be harmful to a scar. Vitamin E causes weak links between your collagen and can actually lead to a very wide scar. So I typically do not recommend vitamin E on any wounds. Things like aloe or coconut butter might smell good or might feel good to you, but really they're not doing anything. Um, and then lastly, I did want to discuss arnica, bromelain, and turmeric. Um, a lot of patients swear by arnica. There isn't that many good studies at all about arnica, but it doesn't hurt either. So if you want to use it, most of us say okay. Bromelain has been sh shown to decrease some bruising and turmeric Again, while there's not great studies, it is considered to be an anti-inflammatory. So some doctors will put their patients on turmeric as well. So those three things, again, not well studied, um, but don't cause any harm either. And if it makes you feel better to take it, I'm all for it. So again, if you have any questions about your wound or you're concerned about anything such as infection or that you're not healing right, the first person you should be talking to is your own surgeon. If you feel like you're having any issues with your scar, like infection, your surgeon is really the first person you need to go to. That's what we're here for. I hope this video has helped clarify some wound healing issues for you, and best of luck.